Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we're going to go as good old chicken and see what we can get done. Uh, we start as the... up oh, with a car thrower. Okay. <laughs> I obviously was memeing when I put that on. Um, <laughs> good old car launcher. Uh, I would like to change that for something different if I can. I could go with random to be fair. That would probably be a, a, a good way to do it. We can maybe unlock some B skins and C skins here. Uh, so let's have a little look-see here. The black sword, don't know how to get that. Um, the dark sword loop with the chicken. Oh, loop with the chicken sword. Okay, acquire the dark sword, loop with the chicken sword. Okay, interesting. And one thing we're going to go and quickly do here is check on Discord um, for what our reason, what our um, hidden ultra is here for chicken. So let's say, see if we've got it here. Uh, chicken is have the crown, have crown of inversion is the way that we get our hidden ultra as this guy. So we can probably do that straight away in fact i think we can turn on crowns and just start with the crown of inversion because i'm pretty sure crown of inversion is a pretty chill one to grab uh, so let's go with let's go with random on our uh golden weapon here and let's just get into it and crown of inversion is this one here higher chance for inverted portals to appear cool stuff and we start with the golden measures i love the fact that it creates golden sheep that's such a a good addition. Also, we've got slow mo's this guy, instead of the sword thrower, which I actually much prefer for chicken. We don't need it very often, I'll be honest. It's not something I use that often. But it's fine. Oh, is that, what, what's this bar for? Oh, it's a slow mo bar. That's definitely new. I like that. It's pretty useful. I think the sheep can block shots as well, which is kind of nice. I think, honestly, morph gun is a pretty goddamn good starting weapon. For multiple reasons. I'd like it if he stopped stealing my goddamn ammo, though. That'd be just fine. Because at the minute, I'm in a sticky situation where I could run out of ammo quite shortly here. You can see it's doing good damage, though, and killing a lot of the enemies very, very easily. We can crack that open. Speed launcher is a, a good secondary. But nice amount of inverted portals here is always fun. Um, we'll go with Rhino Skin here, and we'll go with normal movement speed and normal reload speed during slow-mo. It's pretty nice, but I'm going to go with Scarier Face. We are coming into this area, which I love. Ooh, that was a very bad hit there. My bad, my bad. Okay, there's a lot of explosions going on right now. I need to be a little more cautious. And by a little more cautious, I mean a lot more cautious, because I just got hit by one again. Yo-yo gun. I'm going to say Herming on this. I don't think Herming really does much for us on this thing, but fuck it, why not? Um, destroy that. Come through here. Enter the courtyard straight away. Imagine that. I wonder if that is actually a viable strategy with certain, like, golden weapons. If you get lucky and have a good golden weapon, I wonder if that is a viable strategy or if it is literally impossible this early into the game. I feel like it probably is nearly impossible, to be honest. I feel like that would be really, really hard to get a grasp on. But I think it could be fun, right? Just trying uh, trying a courtyard run straight away. Get away from me, you. I turn you into a sheep. Oh my god, I'm headless, I'm headless. Okay, I forget how just absolutely fucking insane this boss is. Especially with its movement speed. Luckily we've killed it, but... That was a, a scary one, that was. I can't remember how you get back to maximum, like, full maximum HP. I think it's just getting back to full health, isn't it? Something along those lines. We're through, we're through. Dun, dun, dun. I'll take Absorbing. Um, Hypersomnia. Hypersomnia is not, like, super, super good, but it is useful. It depends on the stage, really. It depends on the enemies in that stage to how good Hypersomnia ends up being. But sometimes it can be a bit of a dud. But honestly, this weapon is killing it right now. Slash shotgun. Yeah, that's cool with me. I'll take that. I'll take that indeed, I will. Um... I mean, technically, this I feel like this is kind of a burst weapon, so I might take this and see if it works. Um, I don't know. It might work. It might work. I feel like it is a burst weapon, so I'm going to go for it. 
Because you fire it and it fires a burst of ammo and then stops. I don't know if this is working or not, but it kind of feels like it is damage-wise. <laughs> so many sheep. I, I like this with Kraken on it as well, by the way. Oh my god. Can you guys just get too close? I really need to get out of this path, to be honest. The inverted area is going to fucking shit on me. Oh, dude. Those monkey men. They do a number on me. <laughs> Everything. Everything has been turned into sheep. It was always sheep. I'm probably going to die here. <laughs> um, take our clients alive, or actually, that's probably a good, a good shout. Right. Got to kill as many enemies as we possibly can before they start activating. And then get hit by them anyways. Oh god, they can shoot through fucking walls. I can't shoot through fucking walls. Okay, slow-mo is going to be necessary here. I think basically just slow-mo whenever I shoot. a good shout. Free- oh, it's lightning, actually. I'll take it over Herming. I don't think Herming's really doing anything for us with this. I have to feel lightning could be pretty good. Okay. I think Scarier Face is making this thing obscenely good, by the way. I don't think it's normally quite as strong as it's, it's looking like it is right now. I think uh, Scarier Face is really doing a, a very good job of making this thing powerful. I'm very scared coming up though. Uh, Slow-mo there could be useful. Extact Fists, however, for the extra damage seems just ludicrously strong right now. Bush boxes inbound. Oh, fuck me. I think I'm dead here. I just, I don't know how to deal with Bushbox. Yeah. Bushbox is gonna kill me. Oh no, I got it, I got it. Honestly, don't know how I'm alive. Don't know how I'm alive at all. That was mad. <laughs> we well, almost got the Ultra. I need some protection, really. Tough Shell's protection. Tough Shell's protection. It's extra HP. Some of which we already lost. This is what I mean by, like, gold... Like, the early golden weapons, I like to stick with them because they can be extremely, extremely good. I didn't expect the boss already, fuck's sake. The boss is fine-ish. Oh my gosh. Luckily I had Thingy the Alkaline Saliva to save me from some damage. We got him, we got him. Really hoping I'd level up here, but sadly not. Why does it keep spawning the portal miles away? God damn it. Okay. We're not super likely to die on this stage, but it's not impossible either, so... Let's still be wary. We got our ultra. We just need to make it to the next stage now to actually see what the secret ultra is. If it is still the secret ultra, they did say that information was outdated, so it might be wrong now, but I'm hoping it's right. There we go, we got it, we got it. Right, let's see what it is. There it is, look. Okay, admit severe... What the hell? So we've got 
Kills extend bleed duration, we've got more melee damage, we've got slow motion, it's much more effective on enemy projectiles, even more effective with euphoria, slow motion completely stops your projectiles. When in slow motion you vanish and drop a decoy, and then we've got this which is... Emit... I, I, I don't even know what that means, but I guess we take it. <laughs> Secret skin unlocked. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we just took. I, is it literally just to unlock a secret skin? Because we, we, we're wearing the said skin now. So it might just be unlock a secret skin, which I'm actually fine with. Uh, but I wasn't... I, I didn't know that's what the uh, hidden ultras did, if that's the case. I thought they were uh, actually, like, unique powers, but... Maybe, maybe it is, and it's also a unique skin. It's probably both. I would like the big Kraken gun, thank you. Big cracking gun sounds big, goddamn beautiful. Through we go, baby. Through we go. Flame and lightning. I'm going with lightning. Honestly, let's take on the courtyard. Why not? Why not take on the courtyard here? Maybe I should... Do you know what? I think I might just start playing with Crown and Invasion on all the time. Because it enables the courtyard as, like, an actual thing that I can go to. And I like the inverted areas. And you don't have to go to them. It's just an option. So maybe I ought to just be playing with Crown and Invasion, like, all the time. But also, can we just talk about the fact that this is literally a start starting weapon? It does say burst. Nice. The burst thing is affecting this. Can we just talk about how the fact this is a fucking starting weapon and I'm absolutely shitting on people with it? We've got a bunch of bonus damage on it, yeah, but still. Mental. Shovel crash. Away we go. Courtyard's always scary. I, I'm, I'm really still not very well versed in how, like, what the courtyard is and how to best navigate it. I actually think Insomnia is really useful in the courtyard for just getting rid of a few enemies early. No way! Error in action number one of alarm event for alarm one. For object courtyard guardian. Unable to find instance for object index minus four at GML object courtyard alarm one. Damn the game crashed. Oh no, that is truly sad. I mean, I'll be fine as long as it hasn't reset my progress and I still have that unlocked. If it's, if I've no longer got that unlocked, there's going to be some words to be had. Okay, no, I still have it unlocked. Nice. Um, cool. So we unlocked the secret ultra. We're going to be trying to go for one of those per episode, I think, at this point. I don't know if all the modded characters have them too, but I think some of them do. But I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm pretty hyped for it. Um, we'll stick with what we got going on. And yeah, I, I kind of just think we're just going to roll that back. And I'm going to take Crown of Inversion again. Cause I, I genuinely am like, wait a minute. Why don't we just use Crown of Inversion literally all the time? I like the inverted areas. They have weapon mods. And they increase the difficulty of the game. So why not just always have the Crown of Inversion on. So that we can have the choice if we want to go to the inverted areas. Because it, it, it doesn't guarantee an inverted area either. It just increases the chance. I think overall, it's good stuff. Um, let's take that. And also, as well, it's going to help me get used to the inverted areas, which I think is something I, I'm long overdue doing. There's a lot of the inverted areas that I still have trouble with uh, remembering what the enemies and bosses do. This bit of wall needs to get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, we, we, we always like a bit of challenge. Blood rifle there. Assault pistol is a bit of a no-go for me, thank you. I'll take this on that, though. We are through. I think this is better than Rhino skin overall. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I think I think this is something I'd rather take now. 
See now, this is this is where I I, I just want I just want to see. This seems like a terrible idea, but I just want to gamble and see if it's plausible at low level or if it's something that's just going to be okay. I'm going to say it's not plausible just based off that one shot that I fired. Considering a grenade launcher shot didn't kill that guy, I'm pretty scared. Although it's killing these guys, so not too bad, not too shabby. And I wonder if going here improves the tier of weapons that you're going to find or if it's just if it just counts as normal normal level stage progression. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it, it gives you any bonus stage progression. If that that's something I if that's something I could suggest, if some if you can actually change this, um, it'd be nice to see if you go to the courtyard early, it like massively increases your stage progression of uh, weapon tiers, so you do find some weapons that are pretty good. And obviously, it doesn't need to improve it so much so that you're finding like tier 17 weapons, 18 weapons this early in the game. But it it would be nice to have it so that it just makes it a little more plausible that you can actually beat this. Don't actually know how much health he has. Oh god, this them, them oh my god, them shots are so fucking fast. You got to go, Sunshine. You didn't even give me any health, you bastard. I killed one of them. I don't know how many of those I've got to kill, but I killed one of them. And it inverted the area. Oh my lord, what's going on? Where'd the frog come from? Oh wait, there's, there's like all new enemies now. Shit me. It like resummoned the area and brought new things involved. Oh my god. Do I need to kill all of these? I don't even know. We do have uh, lightning on this, so we can get some use out of that. Something below me just shot at me and I don't know what. Hello. Frog! No! You bastard frog. Oh, they've got like a... Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> He's got like a little reflective shield thing. Okay, I just grenaded myself. That was not a good idea. Okay, there's another boss. I want to bring you over here where I can actually deal with you where there isn't as many enemies. And I say that and of course a bunch of enemies then spawn. I don't- when he does that attack there where he moves a bunch, I don't really know how I'm meant to kill him. He does this a lot, and it's- it's very, very difficult to actually hit him when he's doing that, and he just doesn't fucking stop. So I'm really, like, confused slash concerned of how the fuck I deal damage to this guy when he's doing this. Okay, you've gotten rid of all the walls and made it significantly harder to, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just... 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 Explain to me how I'm meant to survive this bitch. Okay, that's out. This is impossible. I don't understand how I'm meant to kill him. He just moves too much. I I just I can't. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's not plausible. What I did it though. Go away, you little shit. Why has this thing got so much health? Oh my god, thank god I wasn't close to that. Well, fuck me, I guess. I did it. <laughs> With a fucking grenade launcher at level 3. If that isn't an achievement, I don't know what is. My god, right. You watched me die to whatever this last enemy is now. I don't even know how many last enemies there is. It might not be just the one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna fucking die to this thing. Get out of here, we are bullshit. No way. No fucking way. Okay. Keep the current crown load out. Okay, I can I can multi crown now. Um I don't even know what I want to multi crown. Um 
my god, that was that was fun. <laughs> what would I even want to take here? I could go with this. That's always fun. Double cracking on this bad boy. Who'd have thunk it, baby? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thought we'd be on this stage? This stage right here. And we'd have completed the double crown thing. My goodness. I honestly don't think I could have done it as any other character, though, because I survived so much shit because of the reviving feature that uh, this character has. Yeah, the, the, the reviving function saved me. Also, my god, having Kraken on uh, a grenade launcher, double Kraken especially, is very nice. Oh god. Get out of here, you prick. Why not some explosive on it as well? I just want my full health back. I don't know how to get it, but I want it. Fucking get out of here. Sick of enemies getting too goddamn close to me. Bouncer crossbow. It's cursed, but it sounds like fun. Fuck yeah. I, I kind of don't need the inverted crown at the moment, so maybe I'll uh, take something else in place of it. I do not like the amount of lasers looking at me right now, I'll be honest. Luckily, Kraken's doing a lot of the job. And if I run out of ammo, things go well for me. Straight through. Straight through. Um, I think Rhino Skin is the play here. Um, I guess go with Explosive on this. Explosive's always, always sort of risky. Okay, let's, let's trade out one of these crowns for something else. So, untick that one. What would go really, really well with this? Let's have a little look around. Your weapons fire twice. Um, oh, is that new? Your weapons fire um, twice. Reload is almost doubled. Resources fade away. No ammo drops, more weapon drops. No, what the reverse of that. Ammo chests only. Weapon drop tiers increased. Nah. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through the portal. More chests, slightly more weapon drops. Place weapons with ultra stations. Every other weapon drop gives one armor instead of giving ammo. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Also, this grenade launcher doing well once again. You cannot deny the ultimate power of a starter weapon plus good mutes. It is undeniable and beautiful. The double Kraken setup. Do you know what would be really, really nice? It has to be rare, or there has to be some specific way of getting it, but a weapon mod station where it lets you pick what weapon mod you want, because I don't think that exists. And I'd like, I, I don't know how you'd inter implement that if it'd be just something that's rare, or if there'd be specific ways of getting it, but I would love that. Oh, 
right. Go through here, why not? Um, plus two of your health with one armor. When you are missing armor, reload. Okay. Let's go with that, I think. The armor seems good. I don't know how I didn't take damage there, I'll be honest. Energy Backstabber. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. I might take that. Because I'd love to just go triple crack. I don't think I've ever had triple cracking on a weapon. I'd love to go triple cracking at some point. Rope knife. That's pretty cool too. I think it's infinite ammo as well, so I'm going to take that actually. Dude, the, the, the monkey shots are so hard to avoid because of the way they move. I really like that. That's really, really cool. Oh, get out of here, you. Dude, the monkey shots. Oh my god, they're so hard to avoid. Melee weapon plus scary face seem very strong, by the way. Um, second stomach could be good. I think just plutonium hunger is the way to go, to be honest. Like, for example, I had 40 damage there, and then that does 20, yeah. You have to be kind of slow firing, you can't spam fire as much, but it does work. We finally run out of ammo again. Just one of the reasons why I've got a uh, melee weapon as my secondary, because I do use double ammo. On purpose as well. A lot going on right now. Bush box is in the mix. Bush box is actually super easy to avoid, but you've got, you've got to play in a very sort of specific way that isn't normal. <laughs> Monkeys, bugger off. You're not welcome. Morph Hammer. We've we've been playing very well today, I've got to say. We've been playing very, very, very well. It's surprising. I don't like you. We got Ultra, there you go. Yeah, but if anyone can tell me what that Ultra actually did or if it was just a skin unlock, it'd be interesting to know. And also, are the others just skin unlocks? If, if this one is just a skin unlock, are the others also just skin unlocks? Or do some of them actually have a unique function? Because I'm, I'm down to unlock the special skins. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm down to do that. I took Plutonium Hunger, by the way, because the enemies have a small chance to drop armor, and I'd rather just have it get picked up straight away. I also think the Plutonium Hunger range has been increased. I don't know if it's just the visual that's making it seem like it's been increased, but it feels like it has. I don't know if this one's over here or not. No, it's not, okay. beautiful stuff. We still have it there. Okay. So, maybe once it's unlocked, we just get it permanently. One second. I said one second, tried to tab out, and accidentally picked it up. So we have it now. But either way, one second. I've messaged the developer to ask them what it does on the off chance I get an answer before the video ends. We'll see. <laughs> the developer's actually pretty, pretty good at communicating generally, so it just depends if they're available at the moment.
But yeah, I must be like one of the only people in Nuclear Throne that just loves playing with the starting weapons and barely ever changing from them. Unless I find something like later game that's like really cool. Okay, Thunder Kraken is, is really cool. Although I believe it will be explosive ammo as well, so... It's not. Okay, I'll be taking that, thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, it swaps ammo each shot, I think. Weirdly enough. Which means I can't really take it, unfortunately. Who's left? Who's fiddling about over here? Is it just you? It is not just you. It's also you, and you! Oh my god, there's so many of you. Okay. Good to go. But yeah, we picked up the same Ultra again. I actually don't know if it does anything. Um, I, I didn't mean to pick it up. I actually just tabbed out and it just selected it because my mouse was over it. I was trying to take a screenshot of it. When I tabbed out, it was like, no, 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 you have this now. Grenade launcher's almost out of ammo. Frost Axe seems fun to me. I'll take a Frost Axe. Persuadium Hunger also seems really good for... Um, it seems both bad and good for having this uh, Kraken thing. So it's a bit hard to spawn the Krakens, but once you do spawn them, the ammo comes a bit quicker to you. And with this Frost Axe, we can actually combo quite nicely. Dude, chill out, man. Creating bombs like there's no fucking tomorrow. Oh, I've not got armor as well. We uh, we fire pretty fast. Is that not it? Who who's who's left behind? I see you, buddy. I see you. So here we go. Firming. Swarm. I guess I'll take it on this. Exit we go. Right, let's give this a go. We've got armor back as well here. Nice. I like the armor build with this crown. I, I do wish once you once you'd gotten the multi crown. Um, you could just, like, toggle it as an option. I think it is a game mode, so maybe you can. I don't know. I'll have to see. We'll see how quickly this kills him. I don't think it's going to be super quick. Luckily, we do have a melee weapon, though, so we can destroy those orbs and shots pretty easily. Cool. Worked out reasonably well. I love the way like the walls fade away when you do this. The first time fighting this guy, I was like amazed. I was like, what the fuck is this? My Kraken buddy's doing an okay job, but this is pretty tricky. Okay, we got him. We got him. Electro crossbow. It's pretty saucy. Oh, for God's sake, with the goddamn bombs, man. Chill out, guys. Chill out. I think the Electro Crossbow is actually pretty goddamn good for this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. A 
It kind of just nukes an entire area and we fire it through it. This is the sort of thing what I mean by... I guess we'll put a certain point where you have to switch weapon. These are the sort of weapons where it feels like you have to switch. Or can this mech it? Like, just get out the fucking ground and stay out the ground, please. Super Cluster Grenade Launcher. That sounds intriguing. Oh my god, that is quite a super cluster. Holy shit. Holy shit. I so sorry the screen keeps going black. Whenever I tab out, it goes black. Most of the games, it doesn't do that. But this game, it goes black for some reason. Grenade Launcher is the king right now. We got this boy here. I always kind of forget how to fight the snake boy. Or worm boy, whatever I call him. Almost got myself killed there. Close. I don't know how I'm not dying here. I lived, and I don't really know how. Go, my Kraken buddy. I don't know why you're fighting a skull that's inanimate, but you do you. You do you. Where we go? As soon as we run out of ammo, straight back again for another Kraken. The Kraken, it's one of the most fun ones. I, I used to, like, when I first picked it up, I was like, eh, I really don't think I like this. It's double ammo consumption stuff. It's kind of, eh. But I actually think it's, it's a lot of fun. And you don't have to specifically build towards it. It's just, like, a nice addition onto a regular run. It just means you got, you often run out of ammo a bit quicker. With certain weapons, I think it's not very good at all. But with other weapons, it's pretty good. And then if you put, like, Rabbit's Paw and stuff like that, I don't think we have that this run, but that's a pretty good addition to playing with this. They just kind of, like, do their own thing, chill out and kill stuff. It's great. It's pretty great. Look at them go, they're just... And, like, even... It, like, they scale really well as well. Like, even in the late game now, they're able to kill things pretty much on their own. Which is surprising, to be honest. The only problem is situations like this where I now have no ammo and just a few Krakens lying about and they're not really doing much to help me. Now I'm kind of stuck. For some reason, nothing's dropping ammo, so... As you can see, the Kraken is, uh... Doing a mighty good job of killing stuff, so it kind of worked out. They, they last a while as well. They they, 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 they seem to... They, they do seem to have an expiry time and health, so they can be killed via enemies shooting them, but they can also be killed by being alive for too long. They tend, they tend uh, not to time out very often. Is there a little froggy down here? Yes, there is. Chill out, little froggy. Beautiful stuff. Oh, did you see me hurt myself with a bomb right at the end of that stage there? That was stupid. I don't even have explosion immunity and I'm doing well with this. That's, that's, that goes to show how well I'm playing today. Don't know what's happened. I don't know what's switched over, what's changed. Why am I getting a director rifle as a gun drop right now? See, that, that guy stole ammo from me, but he doesn't realise that he's just spawned his worst nightmare by doing that. There's a lot of assassins down there. Nice. 
shovel crash. I just want to check out what the shovel crash is like. Okay, it's just a... It's literally what I thought it would be. A shovel that fires in all directions. I'm really surprised I don't have explosion immunity here, because I, I would have thought I'd have died to my own explosion by now. I'm not playing very cautiously, I'll be honest. I think Plutonium Hunger might be a must, you know, in the future, because I think it's saved me countless times here, especially on loop. It's just because I'm picking up health, like, through walls, like, really far away. Like, it's nearly off-screen when I'm picking health, though. Bullet sword. Pretty cool. Nothing's beating this combo we have right now, though. I think the, also the, the, the gaining armor on occasion is helping out quite a lot, too. Is that not it? Why has always got a police fucking with things? Y'all need to stop. Rusty revolver. Still don't know where this black sword is that I need to pick up. Not found that yet. I don't know if that's like post loop one or something. I love just like doing this and just getting in there and hoping for the best. It seems to work out a lot of the time. With this extra fire out, oh, we don't have armor as well. It's very satisfying. I didn't get that armor. How how have I not been hit yet? What the, what even has happened? But <laughs> I walked in, just walked among everyone, and didn't get hit like at all. Fair enough. Termite gun. Eh. I like what we got going on right now. Yeah, it just like it just zooms up loot. It must have an extended range, it must. You see the amount of krakens we got going on right now. This is just I'm out of ammo at the minute, so I've got to play a bit cautiously. Oh no, I'm near dead. Okay, no, I, I got saved there. Okay, I think I'm dead here. Or apparently not. Again, krakens to, for the win. Lead me to him, boys. Sick him, boys. How did I live through any of that, really? Not something anyone can explain. Unfortunately, this situation... Okay, no. I guess it's bad, but the Krakens just kill him. Yet again. It's also nice to just, at the start of every stage, get a little bit of extra ammo. has just been a really wholesome and beautiful run. Okay, but I'm dead though, so... Oh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I lived again. Still can't remember how to regain my health when I want to, but we'll get there. My maximum health right now leaves a lot to be desired. I got some armor back. Don't know where I got that from, but thank you. And on one HP. I keep getting down to one HP and then surviving, but don't know if it's going to happen this time. Nah, it's not. That was an absolutely glorious run. I am willing to bet not many people have managed to succeed through the throne at level three. That was pretty awesome. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.